What is happening, everybody? Curdy B here, and welcome to the finale, part 12, but the finale of the, the second attempt of Pokemon, Pokemon Platinum Redux. I'll eventually get that right. Hardcore Nuzlocke Challenge. So, we made it this far. This is the, the last one. We're about to take on the Elite Four and the Champion. So, as I mentioned in our last video there, I've carefully selected the what I believe would be the correct team to take on these guys with each within. The, the moves and the items will change because uh, we're allowed to change them, but we have to bring these six Pokemon with us to take on five different uh, battles. So, here are going to be our Hall of Famers. We have Bali Gowen, the Amistar. Holding the choice scarf for now. Water ghost type, a ghost water type. Current moves: Hydro Cannon, Ice Beam, Nightmare, and Spikes. We've got Red Bull Arstoraptor holding the choice scarf. Brave Bird submission, Fly, and U-Turn. Blue Lagoon or Swampert holding the leftovers. Currently with Scald, Stealth Rock, Rain Dance, and Slack Off. Aquafina, our Venusaur, holding the leftovers, currently with Water Spout, Giga Drain, Leech Sleed, also with Slack Off. Bloody Mary, our Salamence, holding the Choice Scarf as well, with Blast Burn, Draco Meteor, Overheat, and Dragon Pulse. And finally, this is our Victory Road Encounter. Uh, we got Cider, holding the leftovers with uh, Head Smash, Outrage, Super Power, and Crunch. So, not I've just realised. I never got my Pokemon League Counter, but I'm fairly certain they're, they're all legendaries anyway. Let me just check that. But I have, I have decided on this team, so yeah, they're all they're all legendary, so I wouldn't be able to use them anyway. So that's absolutely fine. Okay, right. So our plan. We have to make it through. Uh, the first couple of fights should be fine. I'm really not looking forward to the fourth fight with Lucian. Um, if we manage to get six Pokemon to Cynthia, I'm fairly confident we can we can do that there. It all depends on how the, this goes. Okay, so here we are. Iron first. So Iron leads with Armaldo. Sorry, that was speed up there. So we don't want Armaldo to set up any sort of hazards. So we're going to do Hydro Cannon to take it out. Please hit. Thank you. That takes out Armaldo. Scissor comes out. So we're going to switch to Bloody Mary. Whatever it does, we should be fine. That's actually perfect. Sword Dance is fantastic. And we're going to overheat. It has an aqua berry, but overheat should be enough to take it out. Please. Yes. So far, so good. Kangaskhan. So for you, we're going to go into Blue Lagoon. Kangaskhan is a rock normal type in this game. Because uh, I don't want to, I could go into Staraptor, but I don't want to risk. Uh, I need Staraptor, hopefully, for the last few Pokemon. So I'm doing Blue Lagoon at this point. For that reason. What I'm going to do here is set up a Rain Dance because it helps start dry skin. Now, I expect it to go for Double Edge here. But we should be uh, hopefully able to tank that. That's actually perfect for us. And what I'm going to do is slack off. And I'm aware, aware I'm chancing critical hits here. That's brilliant. Fantastic. So we should be able to take another Skull Bash. I'm going to Scald. A burn would be nice. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to set up Stealth Rock. back to full full health. I'm going to scald now. 
I, can, I don't know why it keeps doing that, but yeah, I'm more than happy with that. That's fine. And a crit, <laughs> I'll take that as well. That should take us back to full strength. Excellent. Heracross comes out now, and so Heracross has no guard in this game. Now, the last three Pokemon, Staraptor, I think, can take out, but we need to get a Staraptor in. So Heracross has... Dynamic Punch, Leech Seed, Stone Edge, and Horn Drill. So I'm just going to either do Dynamic Punch, it's probably Dynamic Punch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Ballygown. Perfect. Because what I don't want to happen is Straptor to get confused. So into Red Bull now. Don't crit. Uh, that might be difficult. Um, we'll see how this goes. Brave bird. This vest queen has effect spore, so we don't want that to do anything to us. This is not what we needed. We did not need this. Um, okay. I can't win the Venusaur. I'm going to have to try and go into Cider here. That was going so perfectly until that happened. And I couldn't put a Lumbar on because I need to be faster than Flygon. Right, so Flygon has Defog. Draco made a heat wave and bug buzz. I'm going to play a couple of switching games here. So I'm going to go into Cider. Actually, no, I can't. If bug buzz, the Cider will die. And this is random move. I have to go into Blue Lagoon. Don't kill. Please. Ah, right. Okay, so. I'm just gonna have to switch around and pray and pray for no critical hits here. Now, the play is to go into Bloody Mary. Hopefully it doesn't Draco Meteor. Any other move is fine. Please. Shit, no, please don't kill, please don't kill, please don't kill. Yes! And we do our own Draco Meteor. Please hit. That one paralysis nearly screwed us over completely. We are so lucky with those critical hits. Woo! Right. One down. Not getting the critical hits, I mean. One down. Four to go. Okay. Bertha next. So second of five. So, again, same Pokemon lean with Bally Gaim. And we're going to apply a slightly different strategy this time. So, Bertha wants to lead off with Claydol, so we're going to lead off with uh, Amistar. And what we're going to do is set up a layer of spikes here, because we need spikes to help us whittle down the, the big players, so that we can get the one-hit KOs on them, so, namely Garchomp. So, spikes. It's fine. I'm going to switch into, as I like it, by going to be as healthy as possible. I'm going to switch into Cider now. I 
and with we, we get the special defense boost in the sand and we're going to set up stealth rocks herself and Cleo can't really do much to us uh, apart from this meteor Im impact which is going to do nothing because of, of the sand it can't use mine crush and the only move it has is trick room and it doesn't want, want to use that because it's actually faster than us but if it wants to continue to use meteor impact it's going to be slower so that's absolutely fine So, we should be pretty healthy here. That's clear all down. So we've got a layer of spikes and, and stealth rock up. What's next? Quagsar, that's actually perfect. So we're going to go into Blue Lagoon. And we're going to abuse our dry skin AI. We're going to take this opportunity to set up rain. So you be taught rain dance. And we also give Swampert Ice Beam as a way of taking down Garchomp should we need that. Um, and it's going to Scald here. What I'm going to actually want to do, I'm going to bring Quagsire down to it's base health because I want the full amount of turns. That'll do. Oh. I want the full amount of turns for rain. So I'm going to do this here. Set up rain again. That'll do nothing else and we're back to full health. Fantastic. And that's Quagsire down. Good position, good position. What's next? Cag turns perfect, we're going to switch straight into Staraptor. Shit, you're supposed to have choice banned. Fuck, right. Okay, okay, okay. I was supposed to switch choice band for you in the, on this fight. To, to guarantee the KO on attack attack turn. Okay, okay, right, 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 right. If I can get a high roll here, that'd be great. No. That's fine. That'll do. Gosh, fuck, nearly bought that up there. The why it set up the rain then. So, Mama Swine, we're going to go into Aquafina in case it wants to blizzard. That's not good. I'm going to go into Blue Lagoon here. We can't risk a critical hit Stone Edge. Not on Venusaur. Venusaur is going to be so important for us later. Gonna scald. Fuck you, no. This is it, it's over. I don't believe that. Just I don't think scald. The scald thaw in this generation. Pray for a <sighs> no. Yes. Oh fuck me. Yes. Oh, from shit luck to great luck. Thank you. Right. Please don't do it again. Holy shit. I need to keep one slack off for later. Well, why? Oh, you got a crit. Why are you using someone else? Oh my god, this is more stressful than it has to be. Whew! 
Right. Glass score. Right. Okay. So here's the plan for the for this. I need. There's only two Pokemon left. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna. Mm. What I want to do, the plan is to get in on a star on a rain, because then it can outspeed Gliss Gliscor, I can outspeed uh, Garchomp in the rain. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to slack off here. Don't crit. Thank you. It's difficult here because I need the rain up. And I think there's only one turn rain left. I'm gonna scald. Rain stopped, okay. So, Garchomp, please don't crit us. Or use Swords Dance. This Ice Beam has to kill. Don't crit, don't crit, don't crit, don't crit, don't crit, don't crit. Yes! Oh! We're living on the edge. <laughs> Flying by the seat of our pants. Oh, that was the, the, the best thaw I could ever see. Oh. That went from being, we're done, we're finished, to, oh. And there's three more fights to go. <laughs> okay, so it's Flint up next, the third of five fights. So here we go. So we're going to lead off this time with Swampert. Now we've given Swampert a focus sash because this Torquo has a quick claw. So what my plan is here, this this Torco will hopefully want to use Solar Beam. It may use Stealth Rock, but imagine it wants to use Solar Beam. So I'm going to Rain Dance, which takes its the Sun away and makes Solar Beam a two-turn move. So don't Quick Claw. Perfect. We're going to take the opportunity now to set up Stealth Rock. And even if we get Critical Hit, we've got the Focus Sash, so we will not die. Nice. I forgot to give you leftovers. No, no, I didn't. I give focus ash. That's the whole point. Um, my brain's away. I'm gonna scald. Take a torquil out. Don't quick claw. Thank you. Some floor out next. Now, what I'm gonna do here. Because its solar beam is two turns again. I'm gonna slack off because what I what I want to do is get uh Staraptor in here. But some floor has grass whistle and I cannot risk um Staraptor Rebel getting put to sleep. I don't mind uh Swampert going to sleep because its job is now done for the rest of this fight. Um I'm gonna slack off here. Hopefully it's solar beams. Because if it's solar beams it takes two turns. Perfect. So we've got Blue Lagoon back to full strength. Which means we can now safely switch in Red Bull. And Brave Bird. Choice Ban and Brave Bird. I think you have a Choice Ban this time, yeah. Ho's next. That's why we set up the Stealth Rocks. We're going to go into Cider here. We give Cider the Lumber if it heat waves. So we thought it would Mind Crush there, perfect. And we're going to Head Smash. If it heat waves, that's fine, we got the Lumber. Oh, fuck off.
that's going to put a sticker because it was going to be so um it was going to be our backup for Entei. Right, so this is... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. This is just Raptor again. And again, Brave Bird to take out the Rosa Raid. My border... Our straight counter for my border is Aquafina. I really can't do much just. We're just gonna sit here and Giga Drain away. That'll do nothing. Whoa, fuck. Uh, slack off time. That's nice. Yeah, you get a critical hit and then miss the next turn. That'll do. Giga Drain again. What is it with these defense, special defense drops? Let's go get Giga Drain again here. <sighs> well, at least um, it's not dead. Okay, right. This is a problem. Um, Bloody Murray. That shouldn't do anything to us. What the fuck? I'm gonna flame wheel. It's only until I'm gonna flame wheel. Into. Who am I best going for? Blue Lagoon, actually. Set up rain. That is not fun. It's going to want a Sinister Strike now. We've got rain boosted scald. Please don't crit. Right, I think we're just in a position where we have to risk this. Don't critical hit us, please. We are dodging so many critical hits here. Three down. One more lead, four to go. And a champion afterwards. Okay, so I had to rework this one. Um, reason being <laughs> is I had a strategy for dealing with the Mew 2 until I realized that Bally Gowan can actually learn Draco Meteor. So it's actually given me a little bit of an extra um, plan to deal with the Mewtwo now. I've given them the Focus Sash because I want to set up a, a layer or two of spikes. So I'll explain what I'm going to do here. But uh, yeah, I had a plan. I noticed it like learn Draco Meteor. And now I have two plans or I have an alternative plan. But we, we shall see. We'll go ahead and we'll... This is the fight I'm most worried about here because this one requires me to dodge. We've been dodging crits so far. This one requires me to, to dodge more. The good news is though, we can't. Um, you're not Zatu. Why is there an Espeon here? Why is Lucian using his number two team? I think I've discovered a bug. Hmm. I'll be right back. That's better. I have no idea what happened there. Why? It's either the program, it, uh, his 
post um, champion team. I'm not too sure. It's checking the documents. It does lead off with Espeon, but no matter. So, here's our plan with uh, Amistar. So we're going to set up one layer of spikes. Zatu has screens, so we imagine it wants to set up a couple of screens. So the plan is here, we'll set up one layer of spikes. We got a focus sash. We'll set up, try and set up another one. If we can set up two without getting touched, we'll keep our focus sash and that gives one of our strategies for you to end the play. If it attacks us, then that strategy is gone and we have to use another one. So. One layer of spikes first. That's fine. We wanted to use another screen here. Okay, not. So that's one of our plans gone for the Mewtwo, but we've got two layers of spikes up, so and now I'll be going to Cider. We're gonna set up a stealth lock. You can do that. We're gonna then Brick break that to get rid of the screens. Critical hit. Not good. We want to protect here to get a little bit more health back. That's fine. We want to protect again. We, we need Sider to have as much health as possible. We're going to go now into Red Bull. Take out the Gallade with Brave Bird. Strato has Choice Scarf. Zati, we're going to go back into Cider. It'll try to Mind Crush here, no Arrow Blast. Don't crit. I'm going to protect again. And Crunch should hopefully take us out. There we go. Metagross is in next. I'm going to pretend to get slightly more health back. We're going to go into Blue Lagoon here. It's probably going to want a Meteor Mash or Power Up Punch. It's fine. Don't get Attack Boost. Nice. And what we're going to do here is I'm going to Scald because I, I want I don't want to activate this thing's Lychee Berry. So I'm going to Scald first. Hopefully get a burn. not good. Um, I'm going to slack off here to get health back. Don't crit. And Earth Power should take it out. You stick it out. Thanks. Arcanine, um... I'm gonna slack off just to be safe. And I'm gonna Earth Power. Shouldn't do much to us. Oh, does quite a lot to us. It has extreme speed. Um, I'm comfortable staying in here. It's just scald. Don't crit, please. We are hanging on the edge of crits here. Okay, so this is where things are going to get dicey. Latios, his focus sash is now broken. 
we need to get to a point here where it can hit a move and we need it to I'm just going to want to hopefully Draco Meteor here so if an arrow blast that's going to be bad B2 still in play here. This is not good. I have no choice. I have to go into Aquafina here. Shit. We have to hope it tries a, a Draco Meteor and we don't get critical hit. That's our only option here. Nice. One more time. We, we actually want the trick. We actually want the trickle meter to hit. We'll live this. And that's what we wanted. I'm gonna leech seed here. That's fine. Just don't. We'll live that then. Even for crits. That's fine. That's what we wanted. We wanted the Latios to get minus special attack. So what I'm going to do now is go into Cider. So this gets me a critical hit here. We're fine. I'll do one more protect. What am I do here actually? No, I'm not. I'll stand in my thing. Crunch. So U2 wants to use Aura Sphere against us. We're going to go into Ballygown. Okay. Switch into Rebel because it wants to scam. U turn. Because it'll want to. Decided I want to set you again. Back into Bali Gaian. And hopefully, if it uses Scam here, we're good. If it uses any other move, it has to not crit us. You Scam. Yes! And actually, I'm not risking a Draco Meteor missing here. I'm just going to blast burn this thing. Whoa! All six Pokemon to Cynthia. I think we're going to do this. I think we're good to go. Well, everybody, this is it. The last battle uh, in this Nuzlocke challenge. We have all six Pokemon with us. Um, I'm fairly confident because we're able to sack Pokemon now, we're going to be able to do this. But um, yeah, here we go. It's the battle with champion Cynthia. So, onwards. There's that infamous piano. Right. So, 
immediately we're setting up Stealth Rocks with Cider and sacking Cider. Cider, you've done so well. You brought us this far, and 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 we couldn't have gotten to Cynthia without you. Stealth Rock up. We've got Focus Ash on, so we're fine. And just in case it misses, we're going to head smash. It's fine. So what we do now, we go into Bloody Mary, we choice Scarf, Draco Meteor has to hit. Thank you. That's actually very good. Um, what we're going to do now, we can't risk switching out here. This Dragonite has Dragon Dance. So we're going to have to Draco Meteor again. Even though we're minus special, it's because Dragon is normal dragon, it's quad times four effective, so it might take it out, I'm not sure, but we'll have to give it a go. Please hit. Yes! Nice. Right, Rayquaza. So again, we're going to go into Ballygown here. And Ballygown is going to have to be sacked. So unless this Draco Meteor misses and we get this Ice Beam, Ballygown, you've again, just like uh, Cider before you, you, we couldn't have got this far without you. Thank you very much. Let's see if it misses. If not, buy a Ballygown. No. So that's Rayquaza minus special attack. So we're going to go bring back in Bloody Mary. And Choice Scarf Draco Meteor, please hit. Thank you. I think we're good now. Dialga. We've got our Dialga counter here, Aquafina. Dialga can't really do much to us. we got very high special defense. We've got recovery. We've got Elite Seed. I'm going to hit Elite Seed here. That's fine, you do that if you want. Uh, I'm going to start Earth Power in here. That's fine. You want to use a non-effective move against me, you work away. Full strength again, earth power again. You keep doing it, that's absolutely fine. And one more, yep. I don't know why you're not using Roar of Time, but I'm not going to complain. Okay, I'm going to make the play here. I'm going to sack Blue Laguna Raven because I need Aquafina for the, there's only two Pokemon left. This and my low tick. Aquafina walls the shit out of my low tick. So, and then what I can do is bring in Bloody Mary to finish off this Jirachi. So I'm going to bring in Red Bull here. That's absolutely fine. And I'm just going to submission. Red Bull, Staraptor, you're one of our earlier encounters. You've carried us so well, so much through so many fights, and you're a massive part of our first attempt, and you've brought us to the very end to hopefully victory here in our second attempt. Thank you very much. <laughs> one more go. <laughs> one more attempt. One more go. Thanks for holding on. Back in the Bloody Mary. 
and we just blast burn. And we'll keep Bloody Mary in the back just to be safe. But this is this is game. Minotech cannot touch Venusaur. Can self reflect all at once. We have no attacking moves. We're just going to leech seed and wait it out. I both miss our attacks to make things a bit longer. Why not? I don't even really care about the burn. Our, our lead seed and thing recovery will make sure. And we still have slack off in the back. And we're going to Giga Drain, so we're good. The only thing I could really get there is if it gets low enough and we get a mad critical hit. But that should be enough to take this thing out. That was a critical hit too, actually, last time. We've done it, guys. And girls, we've done it. On our second attempt uh, on hardcore mode. So, actually our first attempt on hardcore mode. <laughs> there it is! Yes! <laughs> A nice critical hit at the very end. Woo! Hardcore mode done. Platinum Redux on our second attempt. First attempt on hardcore mode. Second attempt overall. Wow. With 22... Let me just update that there. 22 deaths. Half of which were meant to be meant to sack. Twenty-two deaths, eight badges, level one hundred champions. Let's look at our mighty team in the Hall of Fame. Tyranitar, Victory Road. Red Bull, Volleyball Works. Salty and Ruins. Yep. League Champions, congratulations! <laughs> We're on the Hall of Fame, boys and girls. Oh, that was such a fun. This is a great ROM hack. I love playing through this. Lots of good and lots of encounters to give her a lot of variety. A lot of Pokemon with great type retypings. Fun new moves uh, as well. The fact that it has the full of stores and rare candies, every ROM hack should have that there for Nuzlocke purposes. If it doesn't, it's just not worth the time. This is such a fun ROM hack, so thank you so much to Ennis, the creator. Um, wow, I really enjoyed playing through this here. What I, if there's further updates, I might come back to this at some point. Um, I just noticed that our Venusaur is female. Um, I'll come back to this at some point there. There's different patches. There's one where... Um, I put this in the description, but um, with hardcore mode, where the immunities are replaced with resistances. So, for example, ghosts will no longer uh, be immune to normal and fighting. It would just simply resist the moves. So that puts a whole new spin on strategy. So I might come back in a later date and try that there with a the new patch. He told me there's going to be new Pokemon on it as well. So I definitely will be returning to this game. It's very, very fun. Look at Tana. It looks like it's got an earring. <laughs> small parts high but um yeah this was so much fun and um, thank you very much to hennis and everyone else who worked on this rom hack uh you've done such a great job i really enjoyed playing through this here and uh, thanks for inviting me to your discord thanks for allowing me to share the updates of this um nuzlocke uh, hardcore nuzlocke and we'll make this bigger than Ren renegade platinum yet <laughs> fingers crossed but I don't know what I'm going to do next. I'm going to search for a new ROM hack. Either a Gen 3 or a Gen 6 ROM hack. I'll be back. I may not have a video uh, for a couple of days. Just while I decide and get things ready for the new ROM hack. But um, this has been fantastic. Um, thank you so, so much for joining me on this here. Everybody, like, share, subscribe. All that good stuff there. Um, share this video around. The more subscribers I get, the more contact I, I want to then provide for people who want to watch it. So... This has been fantastic. Um, we're League Champions, Hardcore Mode, version 3.3, .3, uh, Pokemon Platinum uh, Redux version. Wow. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Take it easy. All the best, and good luck. See you later. Bye.